Okay, so this is a branch analysis. How many unknowns? We have these two, that's an unknown, and this one. These two are not an unknown because current is constant in a series circuit. So these two are not an unknown. So we only have two unknowns, we need two equations. This current is leaving. I'm gonna make my KCL here and it's gonna be leaving equals entering. So I'm gonna make this I1 entering the dot and this I2 entering the dot. So it's plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus. I can write a KVL here, but I cannot write a KVL if there's a current source in the path. So that's why I can write one KVL and then I can write right. one KCL. Okay, so I'm gonna add these two together because it's 4K. And since I'm, oh, I always write my KVLs at the top left and go clockwise. So I'm gonna write four, it's negative 4K I1 plus five volts plus 4K I2 equals zero, because I'm back to the spot. I have to fix this equation, I1, I2, if there was an I3 that would go next, equals the voltage. So here I have negative 4K I1 plus 4K I2, because this voltage has to go to the other side of the equation, it becomes a negative five volts. That's the first equation. I know I have to write a KCL, right? And it's at this dot, what currents are entering equals leaving. So at this dot, I have I1 entering this dot, I2 entering this dot. So I1 plus I2 equals what's leaving is this three milliamps. And that, my friend, is our second equation. And that's it.